Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am Shrek Lad Tamer, and it is time to enter the boss room of the X Not Fortress. Bah, bah, bah. And we know that laugh anywhere. It's Lord Crump. I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting. You again. You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? Bah, I'll tell you what it means. I use a crystal star to lure you here, so that I can take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And wanna know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. It was made pretty obvious last episode. So Peach totally was here. Where did you take her, you huge weasel? Bah, 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 bah. Like I tell you the plan, that's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, uh, so ready for showtime? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. And yes, fighting this thing again. And we're also fighting a Magnus Von Grapple again. Ha ha. I hope you're up to the challenge because this thing is for all horsepower, kitties. Oh, I'm ready for you. Come at me with your spiky arms. Alright, we get to hear this boss music once again. Turn down my volume a little bit on the TV. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen! You ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers? Oh please, as if we're not going to totally whip you for like the tenth time. Actually, this would be the fourth time because it was uh, Prologue, Chapter 2, Chapter 5, and then now. But yeah, here we go. Let's go and title Magnus 2.0. We're gonna give him a varsity style beatdown. Why was that moving kind of slow? Having a big target, I guess. Ah, uh, minus one grapple to Manila, upgraded for some minus one grapple, 70 HP, 6 attack per power, 2 defense. Basic attack is a drill, it can make uh, drills go around, low HP stuff, a lot of new different kinds of things that can go on, and I should have equipped a uh, multi balance. Actually, I have it on for a reason because of the things that come out. And I probably should have used something a little bit different than power bounce, but mm, solid 9 HP damage done. Here it comes, suckers. Madness drill attack. Alright, let's just see how this goes. He's gonna do that. Dang, I super guarded it. <laughs> and I think uh, Mario's uh, repelliousness made it that way anyway. So, uh, let's see. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna use Rally Wink as Gumbellus, because it's like that. Ka boom, just kind of tapping buttons. Kissy kissy. Didn't really do a stylish because I was just kind of busy matching buttons. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit of a power lift, because I'm only really doing 1 HP damage right now. I'm gonna try to focus all my power on attack, like no defense whatsoever, and we're getting a lot of attack showing up anyway, so <laughs> I'll just go strictly for that. Already at 2, might be able to make her way to 3, but all a bunch of defense is appearing now, so I'll just uh, focus on defense now. Yep, there we go, I'm pretty good. Now that's good, 3 attack power and 1 defense, it's gonna help me a good deal. Uh, three star power went away, but oh well, I'm very souped up now. Four, three, two, one, stuff and everything. Yep, stuff and everything. I always gotta say stuff and everything about stuff and everything. <laughs> Time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. What are you gonna do? We're gonna launch out those things, kind of like last time. And do I need to title these? Nope, they're already showing up because I kind of skipped over the text for it, but yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep Gumbella out and... I'll just use another Rally Wink on Mario, yeah, like this, boom, yeah, and didn't get a slash going on this time either, and I'm gonna get these guys out of the way because they can be annoying, even though they're kind of inanimate, and I'm surprised I got the action command for that because I was kind of pressing A at weird times, and since we have another turn as Mario, it's time for a power bounce, let's throw in a little bit of stylish at, as well, to get my star power kind of back up. Bah! Uh, cried. You guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, I've still got some tricks on my sleeve. What are you gonna do? You're gonna irritate your leg shoulder with a part, put something in your crotchal region that's kind of suggestive, suck up the audience, that's not really a good thing when bosses take advantage of the audience. Bah! 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 Eat this! And let's get ready for it. It's gonna lock on and get ready to launch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even bother super guarding because you can just normally guard, even though uh, I'm pretty sure I saw yep, so the defense boost, so it would have done two damage apiece. And let's give multi bonk a shot. Yay, yeah, got both of the silos things, and dang, Kubel is doing a lot of damage. Ha, <sighs> <sighs> no, how, what? My sweet power up robot is on the ropes. This is wrong. 
Alright, only 13 HP left, and I believe I will just go ahead and finish this thing off with one of these. I still don't really know what the stylish is for that. Hup, and I messed it up, of course. I couldn't make it epic. Alright, you're gonna shoot those things out again, but it's not gonna be any matter because Doom Bell is just gonna be like, yo, and okay, my tap bear is gone, so you have one HP left of damage. So should I do something awesome? Uh, Ultra Hammer, and I'll just normal hammer you. Hammer your, your uh, rectangular tootsies. And you are done with. Blar! Hey, that's a different Mario enemy. Oh yeah, I'd like me some 30 star points. Staticky, lighting up and exploding. Grotus! Lord Crump is blasting off again, even though he never really blasted off. And that secures the crystal star for us, Mario. You got the crystal star! Your star power is now away, and Mario can now use the special move Supernova! End of chapter! The last crystal star had been hidden in the x Knot hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Maybe we'll find out after we save the game. And we do have Bowser thing going on. Well, we're here. Now where's the stupid Pusher Sanctum? The crystal stars there, right? So they say, your putinness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Score. Great, about time something worked out for old Bowser, in we go! And of course we can walk around this little area, can go back into the old screen. I say I like to mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? What? That's disgusting, get away from me psycho, you can't have my horns. Bowser's an animal rights activist, you can't jump into the pipe and glitch your way into Rogueport and... Uh, yep, she's gonna freak out and <laughs> freak out forever and always. Hello there, guys. Always so nice on a afternoon. And oh, you're an evil person, really now. <laughs> and of course, Bub's not gonna be too uh, scared. Well, you're big, Mister. What's your name? Uh, Koopa Koop. <laughs> I'm the great Koopa Koop, all-time ancient babbler. Uh, yeah, right, Mister. That name stinks. Businessman of legend. <laughs> I'm Bowser, businessman of legend, fear my accounting. Oh, businessman, like business trips, bribes, and brown noses, oh my. Wow, tough life, huh? So, Mr. Are you in charge of the coffee maker or what? And now, let's say that I'm evil king extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm Bowser, Bowser, evil king extraordinaire. Yeek! Okay, now that's gonna get him going. And the door is locked, so that's not really a good thing for me. It's locked, it won't budge. Bowser is angry. Darn it! And it kind of off screen, but the lock broke. Whoa, baby, awesome, it opened, talk about lucky, I guess rage really pays. Lesson learned, and don't get your nose caught in the door. And as we know, Pennington set up another fake crystal star. Yes, this is it, Haggy, this is finally it. You got a crystal star! Whoa, at last I've got my miss on a crystal star, yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser, you're the absolute best star getting guy. Here we go! You there! I have you now, villains! You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. Carrying it by my claws. What are you implying? I'm no little thief, I'm... The Shadow Thief. Bowser the Shadow Thief, not a thief, the best thief. I'll be taking this, see? What, the Shadow Thief? I knew this had the scent of no mere burglary, ha! Huh? You've been hornswoggled, Shadow Thief, for that is a red herring, a fake. What? A fake? The second time we've been blubbled. But look at this fancy display, the pedestal and everything, it's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh ho ho ho. 
You have got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? I don't know. Lord Bowser. Landing on Pennington's head. Ha, ah, Paragumba, what are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir, uh, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario selected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand year door. Oh, what? The thousand year door? What in the heck is that? The Thousand Year Door, an unbelievably legendary game, is behind that door, and treasure as well. Yeah, Then I'm going there too, immediately, and I'm going to ruin Mario! Alright, Bowser's sort of sidestep thing, he just kind of faces the other way and moves forward. Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Why did not fail, yet. And this is sadly the last time we're going to see Bowser's beautiful mug doing that thing. We finally got all seven crystal stars, awesome! Now we can open the thousand year door. Oh, but... But what? We still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rugport, right? Professor Frankly can maybe help us find Princess Peach. Indeed. Now let's go to the bottom sub-level of this place. Okay, let's go in. And see some familiar things going on. Where are we? And he's starting up. You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. I am so sorry. Most of my data was er erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory. Trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save, Peach, please, please. Princess Peach is with Brodus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. But, back up, power. Failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what happened to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must say Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her. Thank you for me. We understand, Tech. So, Hurry to the teleporter room. Now, Mario, save her. Tech system failure reported. Mario, we have to say Peach for poor check two. Oh, yeah. The fortress is in a dark red glow now, and we have to enter this room with this interesting construction we saw previously when we were picking up the cog. And activate it and get into it. It's the teleportation machine back to Rogueport. Peach, goodbye. So that's that. My question is, where in Rogueport are we? Uh, am I going totally nuts? Did I hear something just now? I don't know. Maybe you're just going totally crazy, Mella. Well, if it isn't Mario! Frankly, over here, son! You brought the Crystal Star back from the moon with you, didn't you? 
What? Talking to my good ear. The Astronaut Fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there, too, I assume. Well, she was. But the Astronaut boss took her and headed for the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand Year Door. I'm pretty sure that was just you, frankly. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door. With Princess Peach! What? No way. Without the seventh crystal star, the doorway shouldn't open, though. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Uh, I'm not going there immediately because we have a few more side quests to do. Trouble Center. Let's go. But first of all, we're going to go over Dazzle and collect our final badge from him using the last of our 10 star pieces. Flower Saver. That concludes everything. His collection is complete. And using our final three shine sprites in the game, we're going to rank up Flurry to get her dodgy fog. Now before we do the post chapter 7 troubles, I'm going to actually briefly explain the troubles that would appear after you beat the game. So we got Doe-T, Rouse these Cats in Boggly Woods, they would net you 20 coins after you defeat enemies in Boggly Woods to the Great Tree. Bub has a trouble, make, help me make up, he's having trouble with his mom and needs to deliver shrimp cake, Kyo Mango, or Fright Mask to his mom, as well as a touching apology, and it will net you only three coins, but... And then Swab has a trouble in Far Out Post, you go talk to him, and you have to go to level 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials and blow up a graffiti thing, and you can uh, get a snow bunny out of it when you go back to Far Out Post. And now for the Chapter 7 Trouble School Bob Delivery, please. I need you to take something in General White. Please come get it with all speed. Come meet me in Poshley Heights. With all due speed indeed, let's go talk to Gold Bob. So, Gonzalez, how did you enjoy your can riding? I'd like to go to the moon, look for some investment opportunities. I need to take this package to General White. Yes, indeed, it involves General White, so this is gonna be a tedious thing. In this house? Huh? General White? You left this morning, Wapow. Ta-da! He said he was going to see the cola bartender in Rogue Board or something. Podly and Flavio. Sure, why? Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. We're old buddies, he and I. I've known him since he was a little snapper that would slow to air over any little thing. Then again, I was the kind of guy that would bomb people for smiling funny. So he turned out to be a fine bob bomb, though we never cured that wanderlust. Pretty sure he said he was off to Glitzville next. I go back pretty far with the guy that runs the juice shop there, too. So give him my best. General White, he pounded three white chocolate coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, and you know that lady in the black dress? I think General White has a thing for her, but that's just my gut talking here. He's darn cute after all. Guys come in more for her than the juice, I think. Hey, and just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rock Hawk. Oh, and now that I think of it, General White said he was going to Far Outpost soon. But first he had to meet Gold Bob or not meet him or something like that. Oi, let's talk to Gold Bob. Ah, uh, Gonzalez, General White was just here a moment ago. Double oi! But he had the thing I wanted to give him. What a rotten bit of luck. He, he said he was headed back to Far Outpost. A general wave is fine by bomb, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's near impossible to wake him, don't you know? I told him to stay out in the wake so we get over to Far Outpost. Sorry about that. But Far Outpost, and he is indeed sleeping. It's time to wake him up. <laughs> Flashbacks. Huh? Hello, Mario. Do you need something? Yes, I need to give you a thing. Oh, what? A delivery from Gold Bob. Came all the way to bring it to me. Yes. Well, thank you for that. I'll take it off your hands. Take your package. Ah, oh, yes, well delivered. So go fetch your reward. I assume Seattle and Gold Bob when you see him. Well, then perhaps I go check on my cannon. So there he goes with the cannon, and we gotta go back to Gold Bob. At least now, we're done with General White. Did you find General White? I see, and he received it. Good, thanks, Gonzalez. Here's your reward. 64 coins. Ain't too bad. Gob, he can't speak. I've lost my voice because of the stupid stuffy coal, Yaboomski. I want someone to bring me some honey candy, ya pal, great for the throw, I hear. I think you can make it by combining cake mix and honey syrup, ya chow. I'll be waiting next to the snowman and far up host, ya blammo. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses everywhere. Ellipses, that is just terrible. Don't worry about it. And we can just give him the honey candy that we went ahead and made up. Ellipses, ah, finally I can speak, ya pal. I've had been exploding so much that I completely lost the voice, ya bluey. Thanks, ya crackety. Here's a token of my appreciation, ya boom. 20 coins. And as the final trouble, excluding the ones in the after game, we got Todia. I want to meet Luigi. I want to meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Pasha Heights for details. Want to take on Todia's trouble? Yes, do it and do it right. Alright, here we are back in Pasha Heights. If only you could take on multiple troubles at once. 
Eek! I can tell. I can totally tell. I've never met him before. But I can absolutely tell you're the real Luigi. Yep, we just had out the Ellen Lamont. Ah, I knew it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, what should I say? I don't know. You have to say anything. Oh, I'm totally freaking him out. I'm freaking out, Luigi. Oh no, what should I do? Oh, right. Duh, duh, duh. The cake. The one I baked was a total loss, but ZST did a great job on this one. Here you go, Miss Luigi. Please take this. Chuckle cake. Oh yeah. And hey, it's Luigi. Hey, bro. Say, why are you dressed like me? Hey, who who do you think you are? You filthy imposter. Police! What? I'm a no imposter. I'm a Luigi. Hey, say something, Mario. Eek! Ew! 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 He's so much like Luigi, it's creepy. He's trying to masquerade as Luigi to interrupt our special time together. That's crazy. This is a nightmare. Bad dream. I'm, I want to believe it. Wake up! And he's running away. <laughs> Ah, no way, I know I wasn't supposed to see that. No way. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, thanks really, Luigi. You're so sweet. And thanks for coming today. I will always treasure these moments. Always. So please come see me again, okay? Alright, that solves that trouble. And as one more thing I plan to do, I am going to go into the Pianta parlor. Don Pianta's here in his retirement and everything. And, uh, Pika's going- or Layla, I believe her name is. Yeah, because Pika's at the shop at the other place. Trade in winnings, and we can get a few things up to shop for seven badges. As for badges, we got Power Rush B, Power Rush, Power Smash, Power Jump, Refund, Super Appeal, Hammer Throw, Multi Balance, Quick Hammer, Tornado Jump. And at the very bottom, we got Money Money, which make more coins if you're after battle. A few couple badges that I don't have, but I don't really have the patience to get. And speaking of which, uh, we got a couple more mini games after getting the th after getting the members cards. We got the tube game and boat game. I do believe I played the paper game before. I don't really plan to show these off because it's just more obstacle courses based on these abilities. We don't have a lot of stuff to do with side quest wise in this game, except for one little thing. Yep. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're going to be fully taking on the Pit of 100 Trials. Until next time, do not toast yourself.